Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new video of PowerPoint School. Today I will show you how to make this beautiful animated timeline slide in just PowerPoint. But before starting out today's tutorial, let me tell you PowerPoint School is now on Patreon. So you can become our sponsor, in return you will receive so many amazing benefits. Please check out our Patreon page for more information, I will provide the link in the description. So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial. Here you can see I have already taken a blank slide. So first pick a oval shape, holding Ctrl Shift from your keyboard, drag it over here and make it a perfect circle. Then go to Format from Shape Fill. I'll pick this color from Shape Outline. Select No Outline. Press Ctrl D to make a duplicate. Change this color. I'll pick this one. Place it over the previous circle, holding Ctrl Shift. Make it a smaller one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate from Shape Fill. Change this color to white, place it over the previous one and make it a bit smaller. Then what I'll do, select the first circle which is the bigger one. From shape effect, I'll select this shadow which is center offset. Click on this format shape option, go to effect and from here I'll make some adjustment. I'll increase the transparency to 80%, blur 8 point then close it. Here you can see we have added a shadow effect. Now pick a arc shape holding Ctrl Shift, drag it over here, drag this yellow dot, rotate it holding the Shift key, bring it to here, holding Ctrl Shift, make it a bit bigger. Then go to Format, from Shape Outline, change its color. Again from Shape Outline, increase the weight one and half point. Now pick a line shape holding the Shift key from your keyboard, drag it to down, to make a straight line, then again go to format from shape outline, change its color from shape outline, increase the weight to one and a half point. Now we have to pick a oval shape holding Ctrl Shift, make it a small circle, then go to format from shape fill, select no fill from shape outline, pick a color, again from shape outline, increase the weight one and a half point. Now zooming in, we just need to place it over here, then pick a text box. Drag it over here, add some text, selecting all the text, I'll change the font to Montserrat Extra Bold, increase the font size, change the font color, make it center, place the text box here, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to down and it will be duplicated. I'll change the font to Montserrat only, decrease the font size, change the font color and then I'll add some text, place it here in the middle. After that, select all these objects, press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring the new one to here. Again, select the first block of objects holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to right and it will be duplicated. Then select the second block of objects, do the same, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to right. For adding the last block, select all these objects from this block and holding Ctrl Shift, bring it to here. Now select all these objects and place them here in the middle of our slide. Then what we need to do, to have some variation, I will add different color for each block. First, select this red circle. From shape fill, select a different color. Then holding the control button, select this arc shape, line shape and a small circle. From shape outline, pick the same color. Now select the text from this text box and change its color also. So you can see, changing the color is very simple. You just need to select a shape, go to format and use the shape fill or shape outline which one is needed. As it is very simple, I am doing the rest of the color changing works in fast forward. After changing the color, we need to add some connector lines between these blocks. So pick a line shape, drag it from here to here, then go to format, from shape outline, pick this color, again from shape outline, increase the weight to four and a half point, holding Ctrl Shift, Drag it to right, then change its color from shape outline. Right click on it, select send to back, do the same, right click on it and send it to back. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to here, drag this point, then change its color from shape outline. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to right, from shape outline, change its color, holding the Ctrl button, I'll select both. Then right click on it and send it to back. After adding the connector lines, we need to add an icon on each block. As I have already taken few icons in my previous slide, 
I will simply copy and paste them. You can download these icons from flaticon.com or check out my Patreon page there I share editable icons for PowerPoint. Now let's add the title text of our slide and now we can start adding the animation. So go to animation, click on animation pane. From here you can look over animation status. To add the first animation, select this arc shape. Then go to add animation, select fade. Keep this on click duration 0.25 second. Now select this first circle. From add animation, select zoom. Set a start with previous. Keep the duration 0 0.50 second. Select the second circle. From add animation, select zoom. Set a start with previous. Keep the duration 0 0.50 second. Increase the delay 0 0.25 second. Select the third circle. From add animation, select zoom again. Set a start with previous. Increase the delay 0 0.25 second more. Select this icon. From add animation, again select zoom. Set a start with previous, increase the delay 0.25 second more. Select this text box from add animation. Now we need to select float in. From effect options, select float down. Set a start after previous, duration 0 0.50 second. Select this straight line. From add animation, select wipe. From effect options, select from top. Set a start after previous, duration 0.25 second. Select this small circle. From add animation, select zoom, set a start after previous, duration 0.25 seconds. Select this bigger text box. From add animation, select float in. From effect option, make sure it is selected float up, set a start after previous and duration 0.25 second. After that, select this line shape. From add animation, select Y. From effect option, make sure it is selected from bottom. Keep this on click duration 0.25 second. As we will use the same sort of animation on each block, here I will use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation. It will make our work easier. First select this arc shape where we have already added the animation. Click on animation painter tool to copy that animation and paste it over here. What I'll do, I'll just set it start after previous. Then select this first circle where we have already added the zoom animation. To copy that animation, click on Animation Painter tool and paste it here. Then select the second circle. Do the same. Click on Animation Painter tool to copy and paste it here. Select this third circle. Do the same. Click on Animation Painter tool to copy and paste it here. Then select this icon. To copy the animation, click on Animation Painter tool and paste it here. Select this text box. Click on Animation Painter tool to copy and paste it here. Do the same, select this straight line, click on Animation Painter tool to copy and paste it here. Select this small circle, click on Animation Painter tool to copy and paste it here. Select this last text box, click on Animation Painter tool to copy and paste it here. After that, select this particular line shape, click on Animation Painter tool to copy that animation, paste it here from Effect option, make sure it is selected from top. In this way, we have to add the animation on all these objects. Working with Animation Painter tool is very simple and straightforward. You just need to copy and paste the animations according to their animation order. To save your much valuable time, here I am skipping the normal process and making it fast forward. The process is very simple. Just keep in mind, you need to select an object where you have already added an animation. Then click on Animation Painter tool to copy the animation from that particular object and paste it on the non-animated object. When you are done with adding all the animations, you will have the same animation sequence which I have in the right side under the animation pane. So our work is almost done, but I'll give some final touch to hide the entrance of these number text boxes. I'll add a few white rectangles. So pick a rectangle, drag it over here, go to format, from shape fill, I'll pick this white color so that it matches with our background, from shape outline, select new outline. Then holding ctrl shift, drag it to right, it will be duplicated, do the same for here. Press ctrl D to make a duplicate one, bring it to here, right click on it and send it to back. Select this text box, right click on it, send it to back. Make another copy of this rectangle, place it over here. Right click on it, send it to back, select this text box, right click on it and send it to back. And our slide is ready. Now if you start the slideshow, you'll see everything is working as expected. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. So make sure to give a like to this video and subscribe to our channel. As always, you can download this template for free. I'll provide the download link in the description. And please support our work on Patreon. 
Your support will help me to create more free contents like this. Thank you so much to all of them who have already become our Patreon sponsors. So that's all from this video. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.